special Halloween ver version of two cats on a couch, but I only have one cat on the couch. Where's Jason? You're not in frame. Oh, okay. And it's very low. Sit down and show the people. <sighs> what are you dressed as? You're Boba Cat. <laughs> <laughs> He's no good to me, fat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Like You're not going to do the whole sh episode with this on your head, are you? I was I was going to try to, but I'm really sweaty. Like I already. know. I bet you okay. your breath is condensating. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a... Uh... That was fun. That was money well the spent. Hoodies the hoodies for all the time, the mask is for fun. Yeah. <laughs> for funsies. <laughs> we thought we would do top five. Top five movies to watch around Halloween time. Jason, I, I, you either do I, or you I, don't. I need to find my list. You either I'll, know I'll, it or you don't. I'll have honorable mentions. I'll go okay. first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because you need time to think about yours. Just like at a restaurant when you're like, are you, if you guys are ready, go ahead, just do me last. And then we take our time and we get to you and you're like, oh, oh, God, I guess I'll just have chicken fingers. <laughs> and then you eat the chicken fingers and you're like, this sucks. I should have gotten what you guys got. <laughs> this is a verse episode. It's not a verses. Yes, it is. It's a top five. That's a verse episode. I know, episode. but it's not like mine versus yours. That's exactly what it is. Your top wins. five. Versus my, no, it's not about winning. It's about your top five versus my top five. So is it a top five or is it a versus? That's the that's it. Because we did the versus last time when we did the battle. No, no, that's different. Oh, that's battle. That's battle. Okay. My top five Halloween related movies versus your top five Halloween related movies. That's right. better have them in order. That was the whole point. No. Yes. Okay, I'll put them in order. Well, I need Done. time. Ready. I hate you. <laughs> the rule for this wasn't just scary movies. It no, was just the movies feeling. you want to watch around Halloween time and that you want to watch like every Halloween. That just give you the, whether, whether we, I do or not, mm -hmm. these are ones that just bring back a nostalgic memory of Halloween or that just encapsulate like a a specific feeling of Halloween. The the Atlantic feeling of Halloween. Well, I don't even know that. I don't even get that joke. I said specific. I didn't say Pacific. Capsulate like a, a specific feeling of Halloween. Pacific feeling. Pacific feeling. I've never once in my life said that. Pacific feeling. Never once. We'll, we'll rewind I here. I hate people that say Pacific. Guys, I hate people that say Pacific. Pacific feeling. I picked movies that I don't necessarily watch every Halloween just because right. I'm more of a Christmas. Like, I can do my top five Christmas because well, I watch yeah. them every year. That your, sort of your Christmas is, 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 is pretty intense. Then you go on a bender like right before Christmas watching... Like the whole month of December. Every Hallmark movie nine, you can find. Nine cats that oh, saved the lives. Nine puppies. Yeah. Nine cats. Like, nine, yeah. nine cats was the one. But I mean, like, year. so I didn't necessarily pick movies that I watch every Halloween. Mm -hmm. I picked movies that give me a specific feel mm -hmm. or a memory from Halloween or the, the different aspects of Halloween that I like. Okay. Um, to add to that, I did not include any uh, franchise. I was going to ask. Okay. How you uh, handled that. So while I love the Hellraiser so no, series, yeah. I love You the didn't Friday put even 13th. one of them on nope. there? Wow. They got honorable mentions. We have honorable though, mentions, they? of mm -hmm. course. We have honorable mentions. But uh, my rule was I didn't want to have a franchise. Take well, a spot. We'll get to that. But not like a big franchise. So like, you know, Freddy Krueger's not going to be on there. Jason no. Voorhees isn't going to be on there. No. Michael Myers, no Hellraiser, Texas Chainsaw Massacres, things like that. Even though I love these movies. You um, wanted to go outside the box I a little bit? I wanted to go outside the box a little bit and kind of come up with a movie that was A- truly captivating of the Halloween spirit, but also mm -hmm. something that I can watch again and again and really appreciate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so we're not 100% on the same page, I think, but and, I didn't put any franchises in either. I, so b disclaimer, I came up with an awesome list and then I had to work for a week and I lost and that lost list. lost his list. 
and Jason can't remember shit. Uh, I also told him two days ago, if we're going to shoot that this weekend, you got to get your list. And he's like, I know. And so I, we're going upstairs, and I said, Jason, if you're going to shoot this now, you got to have your list. And you're like, I know. And then he hit record, and he sat down, and I said, you got your list? And he's like, no, I don't have my list. But Jason likes Halloween movies, and yeah. Jason remembers a lot about Halloween movies. So I have no doubt you can come up with a top five. They might not be your number one like best curated list that and you have. And that's what it is. Is but... it's not like the curated like let me tell you the true def like this is end all be all list. But I'm gonna give you. I think you'll give us a good five. Off my dome, my top five, and yeah. I, I have them. I have yeah. them in my head. I'm not okay. making up as I go. But but they're in order, huh? But they are in order. I was thinking like um, you guys have probably seen these movies. If you haven't, um, I gotta have my list. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. Any movie that I suggest, absolutely give it a shot. Um, they're 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 great on multiple levels and they stand the test of time. And we'd also like to know your top five or what's one movie that you yeah, guys love. When this to is watch all done, Halloween. oh my god, give me your top five or top three or, or like whatever. A, or like a memorable scene. Like I didn't put it on there, but I vividly remember the the uh, Friday the thirteenth with the orange tent. And he he has someone Jason has oh, the the girl in the tent, he whips her around the tree. tree. Yeah. Uh, I was in my grandma's basement with my cousins and it terrified me like the lights were on and wait, i was wait, like is this, this is... on your list no oh, okay, okay. no okay. but it, but that's kind of the thing i was going for was like do i want to pick specific yeah, yeah, like yeah. i don't remember the rest of the movie. i don't even remember which movie it was but that scene i remember to this day the feeling of being scared and like the lights were on in grandma's basement and the cousins were there and i would just remember being like oh god <laughs> like you don't want to go camping again you know so i kind of just you know it's a memorable scene so if you guys have a scene that really stands out to you you know let us know hit us up yeah we would love to hear it. Like, and literally, we love to hear it. It's not just like a advertising marketing thing. We want to know what other people mm -hmm. like. Especially if they're movies that we haven't given a shot yet. Especially if it's a movie I haven't seen. Scary or cheesy or goofy or a, a comedy. Yeah, I think um, you guys know our flavor of films. Better. Yeah, so like we're willing to try anything. And I'm always looking for more out-of-the-box Halloween-y kind of mm -hmm. not spooky, spooky, scary movies, but fun, scary movies. So let's go ahead. Uh, give me your... Oh, your I'm going no first? Number five. All right, we talked about it before. My number five is Trick or, or, trick or Treat. Mmm, so good. Um, I like the anthology kind of feel of it, but then there's the, like the stories intertwine. I like the different feelings of it. Some are about ghosts, some are about like, ooh, that creepy principal serial killer guy. Mm. Like it just has a little bit of everything so that anyone that watches it, you're going to be a little creeped out about this. And you might laugh at that, but like, it's just got a, enough that there's something for everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of creepy, but not, it's not trying to be scary. It just wants to be creepy. And I like that. I like the different stories in a story. And I watched that with you, I think the first time and yeah. we were like, Wow. So we've tried other anthologies since then that are like scary stories that all have one thing to do with it, you know, yeah. and nothing has come close to trick or treat. It's yeah. just, it it's just weird and kind of creepy. And I just, it sticks with me. Yeah. It's a good one. It gets you in the mood for crispy fall leaves and cold air. It does. And as a kid, maybe you're kind of scared to go out trick or treating and your friends are going to go out to that abandoned parking lot, you know, or whatever. <laughs> and you're like, Oh, I don't want to. Like, this is that feeling of being like, a little bit scared of stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's like my number five. I do like watching that one. A Trick or Treat is a fantastic film. It is. It is It is remarkable in the fact that I thought it was going to suck after I watched the trailer. Yeah. And it shook me at how much I was entertained. Yeah. And it's, the scary you just watch parts the whole thing. are legitimately good. Yeah. Like uh, that. The pumpkin the tension. Carver story is amazing. Mm. The tension when they're trying to get up the ele that little hand elevator oh, at the yeah, cliff. Oh, with the kids. And it's like, yeah. go, go, go. <laughs> it's fantastic. And uh, that it was on my honorable mentions. I figured. Um, I mean, I knew it wouldn't make your top five, but I figured it'd be at least probably one mention. of the best anthology movies I've ever watched. Yeah, yeah. It's done so well. And Very I'm, well. I'm shocked there hasn't been a sequel. I'm, uh, I'm glad. I'm glad there hasn't I'm been. I'm glad there hasn't been a sequel, yeah, but because of how good it was... I'm pretty shocked that there wasn't a sequel. 
it, it, maybe it just didn't get the recognition that oh. that it deserved to get a sequel. Maybe. You gotta think you're gonna make money off of it to do another one. Yeah. And maybe it just didn't hit that hard, and it's kind of become a little low key. Uh, and, hit. and for that, I'm glad. I'm, I'm fine. I'm super I'll glad. take it. Yeah, yeah. It was it was it was so good of a film that it's very hard to want more when it's just like mm -hmm. you did everything perfect let's just end it it's just that. it's what you get when you get good writing mm -hmm. and subtle mm -hmm. subtlety it doesn't need to be over the top like but i mean it just but, sits with and the, you and, and then the funny part is some of the part some of the it was mm -hmm. over the top and that was wonderful the yeah. red riding hood yeah story was 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 really fun and just i don't know i i loved I good. love that. that I'm that glad. Movie. I'm that, glad that I thought you would too. Yeah. All right. So, what's your number five? My number five is a indie film. Oh. Uh, about a radio station that is having an all-night radiothon. Unbeknownst to the people inside the radio station, a sound is making people outside the radio station turn into zombies. The what movie's is this called? called Pontypool. That's my number four. What, so, what, wait, wait. I know. Slow your roll here. We might as well, because <laughs> we'll just talk about it Fair together enough. then. That is my number four. Yeah. Ponty Pool is. We watched it and we weren't sure what to think and we were weirded out. We were like, what is this? So. Why uh, is it creepy? It's not really that creepy, but no, it's it is. Not. It's, it's atmospheric. Yes. And very and low key. Andy and I both really love what's commonly called the telephone booth stories where literally if you have great characters, a compelling mm -hmm. story, a lot of anxiety, you can tell an amazing story in a telephone booth. That's why we liked um, Fall so much. That's why I liked 47 Meters Down and Buried. And, um, Just you can do, if, if you can do it well, you can do it well without a huge set. Right. If so, you can do it well, you can do it well in a radio station the, with a limited cast. The entire story, what, what is it, thing. like four or five actors maybe? Yeah. Max, um, and then I, and, callers. And I am going um, to go ahead and just burst this bubble right now. It's been a long now. time since I've seen I did it. not take any notes on any actors. Mm -mm. So if I don't know them off the top of my head, I'm going to go ahead and apologize right now. I really apologize for not knowing I am going to look up who that guy is really quick, though, um, because he he's, blows it away. He's amazing. So the movie, again, takes place in a radio uh, uh, station booth and like a little... Stephen McHattie. Steve, oh my God, yes. Okay. He's been in a shit ton of movies too. Uh, what's happening is he's talking on the radio and there's virus that is audibly transmuted. The English language. The English language. And yep, it transmits a it's, virus. It's uh, connecting to the people who are listening to this. Yep. And it's turning them into like when I say zombies, I'm I'm using Just kind more of like, mindless violence. I'm using the like original sense yeah. of the word. Yeah. Um, but it's like. Uh, the like a specific word, like someone catches it, and they start like, and then, repeating it. Yeah, like, they like, keep repeating the same word over and over again. But like, yeah. and that's where the creep factor comes mm -hmm. in because you're just having a normal conversation with someone, and you're like, "Hey, don't go outside," and this and that, and you're yeah, like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Outside, outside, outside. And you start like outside. losing your consciousness, and you start, yeah, and it's just, it's like, oh god, okay, that person's got it, but yep. like, am I gonna? Like, it just, it's. It's atmospheric, you're right. It's atmospheric and haunting. Um, and his voice, I would listen to a radio station with right? him. Right? His uh, character's name is Grant Mazzy, as if you couldn't think uh, of a better DJ name. Uh, but, like, yeah. I would listen to his radio station. And it's just creepy and interesting. And you're right. One location, limited actors, mm -hmm. just excellently acted and excellently mm -hmm. written. Yeah. Um, Simple. But effective. The music's good. It's like more like droning atmospheric music. The cinematography is gorgeous. The editing's flawless. Uh, I didn't think we'd have one on the same. On a, a, I knew we were going movie. to, but I honestly, of all mine, this was the one I thought was going to kind of connect. So that's your number five. That's my number five. And it's my number four. My no, yeah, number four. Um, but uh, that one definitely give it a shot. It's not like. Zombies eating each other's right, faces. Right. It's not and, and actually, really tense it's, as far as like being chased through the streets. It's very low it's violence. Nothing like that. It's, it's just like, violence is in it, but it's kind not. Kind of a mind It's fuck. not like Day of, Dawn of the Dead. It's no. not. You yeah, know, it's not like that. It's like that. It's got a little bit of blood, I think, though. Not much, but, but yeah. Oh, but give it a try. It'll have you at least a little bit squicked out. Just it's, a little bit. A little bit on the edge though. of your seat. A little yeah. bit hair rising. Yeah, it's really good. Um, well, since that's my number four, then what's your number four? My number four is a French film that this is... This is on my list, too. No. No. <laughs> I 
don't have a French film on my list. It's nowhere on my list. I was waiting for you to be But I know what it is. Like, no, it's a trilogy. The, the French trilogy. Blue, blah, blah. Blue, blah, blah. The, the, the red, 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 white, blue. Okay, um, so what is uh, it? it? It's a French film called Martyrs. Yes. Uh, it is spine chilling and eye opening. The biggest twist I uh, can so remember seeing in a movie. Without giving too much twist away. Don't, yeah. Because uh, be the careful. movie is actually damn well worth it's watching. It's really good. Uh, if Even you, if you don't watch foreign films. Yeah. Oh, if right? you haven't watched foreign films, it, it, it's still like you don't need to read too much. You get the sense of everything that's going on. Uh, it is a hostage home invasion movie. Revenge. Which I love. Yep, which I love. Um, where uh, a college girl bursts into the family's home and is holding them hostage and getting revenge for her missing friend and it slowly devolves into a torture porn and then slowly evolves again into like a very conscious, intelligent... Yeah, it kind of goes... It, it... <laughs> goes through goes through a Drama? couple different genres, yeah. And then it switches into like I mean, I, I, this is I don't want to give it away at the end, um, but it keeps changing its genre. But it's always creepy. But it's always on point for what yeah. it's trying to do. Yeah, and it is unsettling. Very unsettling. And this is one that I see, like anyone that asks you, hey, what's a good, like creepy movie for mm. me to watch? You don't even have to ask, what are you into? Slashers, psychological and, thrillers, that sort of right. thing. You're just like martyrs. More often than not, if the people go back and they watch it, they come back and they're like, that movie fucked me up, Jay. Like yeah. they, it, it's highly but recommended it's, by you and it's highly well received by anyone that we know that watches it. It's not fucked up in the point of like, you know, no, 120 just, Days of Sodom or something like that where you're just like, you, I don't want to watch this again. No, it just makes you... It just gets you. It gets you, but it, in a it, way it where at the you end, in. you're like, I'm so glad I watched this. Yes, it brings you in. Like, it was a journey to mm -hmm. watch this. Mm -hmm. That's a very good one. That was fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised that one isn't higher up for you, so I'm interested to see what your 3 Well, I mean, is. it's me. Other movie that I wanted to put on this because of the tension factor that Martyrs had, and I... Every movie that I picked has kind of a different feel to it. Me too. I tried to pick different aspects yeah. of Halloween season. So the honorable mention for this feeling was the uh, Spanish film, The Platform, which oh, man. was, uh, it's on Netflix. That's very, yeah. It's a uh, great Spanish film. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take away no, from this, but I wanted to kind of like correlate to the, the same, same kind of feeling, feeling to yeah. it. Because um, you never know where it's going to go. And when it does, no. it's like, oh, this got way worse than I thought it was going to go. Kind of like at the end of Snowpiercer where you're like, wow, this is just miserable. And then you see the end and you're like, oh my God, it got worse. Snowpiercer is like, amazing. The show sucks. Platform sucked. though, that whole thing. And platform, we were like, oh yeah. wow, this is terrible. Wow, that's really weird. Wow, that's just creepy as hell and terrible. And at the end we're like, oh my God, it got it's worse. so much worse it than we thought so it could have been. Worse. And that's exactly <laughs> what Martyrs does. It kind of has yeah. you on your seat and wondering yeah. where you're going next. And then it gets there and you're like, oh my God. And then yeah. it gets there again and you're like, what the fuck? And then it gets there again and you're like, I can't do this anymore. Uh, um, so Platform's another really so good, good, good movie. Yeah. Uh, and it's a Spanish film, so you do have to read it. And it is uh, a lot more reading. But then. I will say, the Platform, if it's dubbed, I, we didn't watch mm -mm. it dubbed, but if it is, you're not going to be missing much because it's not... It'll probably be very good I, dubbed. I think it'll be okay. Like, yeah. Martyrs, you need to kind of go into it with it's the nice other language. It's nice in the French language. I think yeah, so, too. It is. I think it, it transverses a lot with the French language. But mm -hmm. anyway, um, uh, mm -hmm. Andy, what is your number three? So my number three is, I'm trying to, now that I'm saying, oh, my number, my five are all mm. completely different. Now I'm looking at my last three and I'm like, <laughs> maybe they're not so different. <laughs> um, this one is one that we just rewatched. As a kid, I watched it around Halloween time. And mm. in all honesty, just Pog for funsies. Pocus Pocus? No. Oh, thank God. That is an honorable mention, though, because it is really fun. Get the fuck out. Oh, I, it's, it's all about a... having a fun uh, yeah. Halloween. Okay, okay. I didn't pick Huey sorry, Halloween. Sorry, Jesus. sorry, sorry. Um, oh, it's, Beetle, it's Beetlejuice. Oh, hell so yeah. So we just rewatched this recently, yeah. and I was like, everything that I loved about it as a kid, I still loved. And every little joke that I didn't get when I was a kid, like, I get it now. Like, there's yeah. so much to, to re- like to re-explore and like re-find out. Revisit. Like, 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 and you're like, like oh, re, that's re, what that re joke meant. Oh, yeah, that's what, yeah. you know, and like just, and Catherine O'Hare is freaking amazing in it. 
Um, I mean, Michael I knew she Keaton would be. is the oh. number one uh. creepy dude. He's just, he looks like he would smell like burnt cigar butts and stuff and mold. Winona Ryder, like, eh, she kind of pisses. She just. She's just that moody bitch in this movie. And I'm like, bitch, they bought you. Like, you live in this house. Start acting like you live for, ugh, whatever. As a kid, I was like, oh, I love her. Um, but it's <laughs> As an got, adult, you're like, get a job. Yeah, you start paying your way, bitch. <laughs> it's just got that feeling. It's that Tim Burton, otherworldly, like, stuff is just a little off. Yeah. And it's just a little creepy, but it's not threatening. It's right, just like, right. oh. So I just, you know, and like the best Halloween costume ideas come from that movie. There's such good character design. The whole thing is just a whimsy. So that's kind of the whimsical. Okay, yeah, I, I get of that. Halloween. It's it's definitely less horror. Yeah. Less scary. Yeah. More it's just the whimsical. Halloween feeling. Yeah. Um, but no, it's not horror. It's not scary. Yeah. But it is about scary things. You know, like oh, mm -hmm. monsters and death, and they go to hell. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> oh, which, which, by the way, the afterlife is hands down my favorite part. It was it really when I was is. a kid. It was my favorite part of the movie because I've always loved monsters and ghouls yeah, and ghosts. Yeah, exactly. Like that. And then as an adult, and I hadn't seen it in fifteen plus years, yeah. maybe and maybe then re twenty. Re oh god, it, yeah. Uh, but it it held up. It does amazingly. It holds up, it holds up exactly the way that it should have been yes. perceived back then. Yes, like it didn't lose anything, and it yeah. was it knew what it was back then. Yeah, and like we we watch a lot of older like eighties movies where they'll use language, and we're like, oh no no <laughs> yeah. don't don't say that. You can't say that now. Oh, that's you a, can't make that. That's joke a racist now. joke. Stop. There's a couple of them in this though, uh, where it's like, oh, that's a little yeah. bit in poor taste. It, but, but poor taste, I think, is different. The than The actors like, that say them, the characters that say them, were the, are poor taste were characters. The poor taste. Yes, you know? yes, yes. But so yes, it holds up. It knew what it was, um, and it was timeless because 20, 30 years later, it's still fun yeah it's still so fun i agree it's uh it's a good family film too it's something that mm -hmm. you can grow up with yeah legitimately because like i grew up with my next movie but most kids probably shouldn't have um but also like i just want to say like set design and, oh. the, and the and the monster design and like just the weird rooms yeah, yeah. and the uh, the astro turf over the grave like all the little miniatures and I did stuff like, it like was oh that was pretty man cool. they did such a good job yeah. it's just very creative very whimsical very corny cheesy you know but like they leaned into it so and it was are, perfect are you excited about the sequel not really it's greenlit it's it's coming michael keaton yeah i believe and winona Ryder. i believe yeah. everyone who is alive is back Okay, well, I'll, I'll totally watch it, but I just, I kind of feel like when you take a childhood um, cornerstone like that and you remake it, is it like the monsters? I mean, yeah. yeah it, like, so well, I'll I watch mean, it, but no, I'm not that excited who's, about it. Who's helming it? I don't is, know. I'll Google is it Tim after Burton this. in charge? If he is, I'll watch it. If he's not, I'll watch it. But if I he mean, is, I'll have higher hopes. Yeah, there I you do go. love there Tim Burton. Go. Anything he does, sometimes it's not really for me, mm. but I love his aesthetic. So, uh, what did we just watch that was his? That was uh... well, Wednesday. You said, "Oh, the trailer." I for said, Wednesday. "Oh, yeah, I think this is Tim Burton's, and it does have his feel. It's just Kinda. different." And it then we like, saw that it, it was Tim like Burton. CW Tim Burton. It does well because it's a TV show. And I don't mind TV shows. Be... It's just no, to... but. It's it's for the CW crowd. It is for the CW yeah. crowd. So, it, it looks pretty. But great. I can tell that it's his. He's got that look. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's got. He's got feel. the look. He's got the look. What's your number three? My number three and this is, is the one that you grew up with. That this you just is said? the movie I grew All up right, with. What is I it? saw this on cable. Oh no! I think when I was seven or eight years old. Oh no! And I was. I have a couple like that. Fascinated. Oh, mine were terrified. Oh well, yeah. That's how I mine mean, ended. No, it scared the shit out of me. Scared the shit out of me. I wouldn't go in the basement. Like it, it scared the home hell alone? out of me. Yes, it was Home Alone. It was, well, they had that boiler it, scene. It was Home Alone Two. Oh God, don't watch that. Because I, I you know, fuck New York. <laughs> Tell me I what just, it is. I just want to be a kid in a limo with a pizza and like that. No, then you like, gotta just watch Richie Rich or Blank <laughs> Check. That's what you need to watch. All right, um, what was your scary movie? Uh, but I grew up with it, and I had it on like a crappy VHS tape that I, you but know, you I out. watched it so many times because I was floored at how scary something can be and truth be told this is one of the movies that made me want to go into filmmaking because it made me say i can i can do this yeah i can like create this kind of emotion in people so when sam raimi graced oh. us with the immortal evil dead 2 
And I know I'm kind of breaking yep. up the, the franchise thing here. But no, it's not really. That movie uh, stands alone. Evil Dead 2 is hands down one of my all-time favorite films. Uh, yep. Regardless of genre, regardless of anything, it is... Because it's kind of comedic. It's, it's kind of horror-y. It's amazing. Um, uh, now, granted, I love the film itself. But once you like all the backstory, once you learn the backstory, yeah, of how you the film always was made, know something new about it, <gasps> and it's amazing the things that you remember. I have, me about. I think I have like eight or nine releases of the movie on Blu ray and DVD. I don't doubt that, um, yeah. And everyone has a slightly different commentary. Oh, and that's every cool. one of them is worth listening to, yeah. They are funny with as Bruce hell. Campbell and it's Bruce and Campbell, stuff. the star of the movie, and Sam Raimi. Uh, I think Rob Tappert was on one of them, uh, but they would talk about like, how Sam Raimi would beat the hell out of Bruce Campbell. I mean, okay, I just <laughs> assumed uh, everyone college, on the planet has ever seen their college friends, their, though, their right? Childhood their childhood, friends. childhood friends. Okay, Sam Raimi so was making super movies. So one of them wanted to be in movies. front of the camera, and Bingo. one of them really was good behind it. Yeah. And he was like, "I'm going to do this to you, and it's going to look great." And Bruce is like, "Okay." Yeah, and he was cool with it. And so basically, now he's like, "Okay." Evil okay. Dead Two <laughs> is the sequel to Evil Dead One. But it's ninety percent, ninety five percent a remake of the first one, because the first one was not made in the way Sam Raimi wanted it to be made. So he came back with more money and so more know-how. He came back with more money, more and crew. he made it the way he wanted to. Yes, he that's made it. cool. He actually rented out a uh, elementary school and uh, shot in the gymnasium. Like the how how house was built inside of a gym. Really? So they could get like underneath the floors and everything, and like really control the environment. So anyway, wow. uh, the story is about a group of four people who drive up to a cabin in the woods. Well, oh no, sorry. Part two is different. <laughs> oh, you're having a hard time keeping that was, them separate. Yeah, that was part one. They get up there. She dies. New people come in who's like the daughter of the guy who owned the cabin, who was an archaeologist studying um, Sumerian ancient <laughs> texts. Yeah. And there was a text and uh, they, the Necronomicon they, they comes play from this, a tape. Right? They play a, a, a magnetic tape that he's reading the, the, the script of the Necronomicon. And that unleashes all evil and all hell breaks loose and the deadites come and start to kill them. It is a nonstop chaotic rush of the it story. It is very chaotic. I do remember that. And as a it's child, just crazy. it was insanely terrifying. Was it? it because it's Because like, I think on it, it now and I'm like, oh, that's Bruce. And like, he's right. a comedic actor. He's always goofy and tongue in cheek. And it was. And, but but it's as like, a kid, as okay. A kid, the, the fucking Henrietta head in the basement going, I swallowed your soul, I swallowed your soul. That shit was horrifying. <laughs> Is that why you wouldn't go in the basement? Yes. Because when he had to go in the basement to find the pages, he's like walking through and like it beats him up. And I, man, I shit myself so many times. That was terrifying. Uh, it's a fantastic movie though. Fantastic movie. And like, there's no hope. There's no hope throughout the movie. And it just makes it so much better. Um, and most of the movie, Bruce Campbell's by himself, and he acts by himself. Yeah. He acts with himself, and it's just he, fucking gold. He is he is a true American legend. Yeah. Like he he is a diamond. Um, and he took me to my birthday years ago to go see the opening night of My Name Is Bruce, mm -hmm. uh, about Bruce Campbell being the superhero that Bruce Campbell is. Yeah, and very good, a, very fun movie. Amazing movie, but Bruce Campbell was in the audience with us. And that, that and he was did just... take some time to take a few questions, even though he had to get going. Even again. though all the questions were fucking stupid. And I was like, Jason, raise your hand, like stand up, ask him a question. Yeah. And you're like, I don't want to ask him one of those stupid questions. I need to have a better question in mind. But all I'm doing is fanboying out yeah, on him, and, and I, I just want to do that. Yeah, I just want to be like one of those guys, and I, I don't want to like, do it. Three people in a row did it, and eventually Bruce Campbell's like, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> so because well, he had to go anyway. The guy it. was like, and he's like, No, I got a few minutes for questions. And he's like, All right, make it fast. He was actually pretty. He was really he nice. He was cool. Yeah. He was really nice. Like he seems like someone you'd want to hang out with. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I think he'd be a lot. Like, I wouldn't want to, like, invite him over for a week. See, like... But, I like, think... if I could meet him out somewhere for lunch, I think I'd have fun. Because I, I think could just go home. I'd like to hang out with him if he was just, you know, really himself. Like, not wanting to put on a show. Not wanting to be yeah. in stage mode. Yeah. That would be cool. I don't... Like, that's too much energy for me, man. Yeah. Like, well, he's getting older. Maybe mentality. his energy will go down. Oh, he, he seems like a fucking... I would rather hang out with Sam Raimi. Yeah. I, that the things dude, you could ask that him dude and learn is from him. I just want to... I just want to hear him talk. And like offer him food, like dude, Have like some cheese cubes, here Sam. is some cheese and awful food <laughs> that I got from and Jewel. He'd, he'd eat it and he'd be so polite about it though. He would like something would tell me like he would be like really nice about it. He 
You'd be like, that's cool. I like this cheese. And then we could joke about Three Stooges shit. And yeah. Everything would be happy. Okay. Uh, um, so that is so my number three. So that's a good three. number three. That's um, really good. And I will say, it's a great movie, but watch it with the commentary. It, yeah. The movie is epically Do you better. recommend watching it once without and oh, then yes, once yes, with? Yes, yes, yes. Because like, watch it have, without have the experience of the movie first. Then watch but through then to hear what they have to say. The movie is 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 a thousand times cooler once you learn how they made it. It's a Very big on practical effects. Almost Didn't Tom Sabini? Almost all. He was on that, no, wasn't he? No, he was not. No? No. Okay, well, whoever it was that was on it, because I remember watching part of like the behind the scenes or mm -hmm, making mm -hmm. of something with you, and it's... Very oh, cool, the practical effects. The special features on the disc are so worth it just alone because like they made like short films behind the scenes <laughs> where the special effects crew were like making Walking Dead Baby and all this <laughs> other stuff. It was really fun. Anyway. Uh, but so I have big respect for anyone that can do that kind of movie with practical Practical effects, effects are the way to go. I, it's I really, just I really so agree. smart and so timeless and it doesn't age poorly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of the things that I really liked about on that note was why... Ash wears a blue shirt and brown pants in the movie is because you cannot tell what age of time they're from. Oh, it's just it's just non, non time esque. It's yeah. The only thing that's like really timed is the uh, uh, the car that he drives in. But it's Isn't like it? you could be at any time though. It could be a new car to you, and we're way back well, then. It could right. be a classic that you still but own now. It's it could the be... classic, the yeah. classic. If you're not familiar with that, Sam Raimi puts the classic into every movie he does. So it's this one car. It's the one car. He doesn't damage it. Or oh no, he absolutely it. destroys the shit out of it. And then, like, what has it rebuilt? I don't know if it's rebuilt. Or does he or have like 15 another. of the same car? <laughs> yeah. He, he, Either he, way, he, he I just like goes that to dedication. Car and buys like you know like the the. Um, the Buick, like, is it a ship? What's that awful store that we hate? Costco. He goes to Costco and just buys like <laughs> forty packs of them. That quote from Family Guy always gets me. Is like, oh, they have pianos on sale. Yeah, but you gotta buy four of them. That's how they get you to get a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, your number three plays sort of into my number two. As a kid, this movie one hundred percent terrified me. I never made Care it Bears through. Was not that. I never made it through a full watch in one go. I had nightmares. And it is a big part. And I used a lot of my movies, like the things that I'm scared of now. It's like, oh, that's because my cousins made me watch mm -hmm, Puppet mm -hmm. Master. That's why I don't like puppets. It's. But as a kid, man, is it rough to go back and watch oh, that now and be like? But oh, this one, the reason I put this one on here is because it doesn't. This one still terrifies me. Okay. And when my mom found out that I was scared of this movie, I was an adult by then and I was talking about she it. Bought she bought you the VHS. She says, <laughs> Andrea, that's a comedy. And I was like, what the fuck is oh, wrong I know with the movie. you? I know it. This is great. And so I even tried with you. I said, all right, look, I'll give it another shot. Maybe I'm older now you and I'm smarter it. now. You did. And I can get through it. And, it, and, I just, and I can just say, hey, it's a comedy. Hey, it's a comedy. So killer clowns from outer space. <laughs> I knew you knew. So my mom was like, Andrea, that's a comedy. So even as a 30-year-old adult, this was within the last 10 years, right? That you and I tried to rewatch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and it, I, it's not that I couldn't watch it because it's bad. Because it is. I know that it's cheesy. I know oh, that it's oh, dated. Oh, right, right, I know right, right, that. Right, right. But I don't see how it's a comedy. Guys. Like, I get it when you say the premise. Oh, this carnival comes to town. And there's clowns from, space. from outer space. From space. And they, they put all their victims in a in cotton candy cocoons, and then they drink them. And it sounds would, so silly. I would watch the shit out of that if that was that the trailer. That is the movie, though. So it sounds so silly. But to this day, yeah. I cannot get through it. It is so scary and so creepy. What What is the thing that freaks you out about it like what scares it's the clowns it's those huge smiles with the teeth and they just like appear like they're goofy yeah like oh they have big heads and they got the fun little bozo head you yeah, know yeah, yeah, hair yeah. and the big shoes but like that one scene i think where they're like at the end of an alley mm. and it's just two of them and like one's got a balloon mm. and it's just like they're just there and then, like, the one shoots out of a hamper, mm -hmm. and I was terrified to take a shower for a long time in, in my grandma's basement because she had a hamper in there, and I was like, something's going to come out. And, a, and an honorable mention in this same vein for me, the feeling of Halloween, yeah. is arachnophobia. Um, not that I wouldn't have been scared of spiders without that, but that say, movie yeah. is the one that made me... Like, I wouldn't shower because they start coming out of the head of the, yeah. you know, the shower yeah. head. That's the only thing eating, I remember about the Eating movie. the popcorn... 
Oh. And like they're in the bowl, I like these spiders take over the whole town, I and Jeff Daniels can't movie. save them. <laughs> it's so scary. I want to watch it again, as like with Jeff Daniels playing Jeff Daniels, <laughs> <laughs> trying to save a bunch of actors in a movie who Here's are scared of Here's spiders. Here's the thing, though. As an adult now, I can go back and be like, oh hey, it's clowns in a, in a costume, yeah, yeah, like yeah, they're right. people, and. Oh, it's silly. Like, okay, so maybe that. But with the spider movie, yeah, well, those were real spiders. Yeah. Flown in yeah. for their trainability. Right. And not every spider was accounted for when they were done. I remember that. I remember hearing that. Like, they that. took very good care of them. Like, they would pick them up after right, each thing. Right. Like, these were, they didn't just, like, throw them onto the set and go crazy. But some of those spiders weren't recovered. Live your best life, spider. And they weren't dead either. Yeah. So... Going back and watching that, I would be like, yeah, those aren't spiders in costumes. Like, those are real spiders. <laughs> like, those it's aren't just, puppets. Actually, what they did was they, they hired, like, ladybugs. Yeah, and they put, put legs on, on them. Spider. Yeah, yeah, they just, like, glued. That yeah. would be, oh, that's creepier almost. <laughs> like, dead spider parts glued onto a ladybug. Oh. Ooh. Oh. But so either way, that's yeah, my I, honorable I, mention to, like, childhood trauma. Mm. But Killer Clowns is my number two. Because I, I just... Everybody thinks it's so funny, and I get it. The yeah, premise yeah, yeah, is yeah. so funny and so bad, but my mind has been scarred by this, and I cannot watch it and not be scared. And it's not the scared, like, I can do scary movies, but it's not the scare that you're just like, ooh, I'm going to have to cuddle up really close with Jason and Maggie tonight because, like, don't put your hands outside the bed. Like, it's traumatizing. It's just, it so traumatizes So for our me. list, we're doing, like, the most fun Movies we want to watch for Halloween. No, no. The most, they bring out the, I said oh, specifically, yeah, 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 the different yeah. aspects right, of Halloween. Right, yeah. And this you're movie, right, you're right, you're right. while not traditionally and conventionally like a scary horror movie, yeah, yeah. but is the Halloween movie for okay, me. Okay, I got it. It is the one that makes me not sleep well that night. It is the one that makes you want to stay up with the lights on. So do I think, don't like that movie. Now, granted, you watched but it as I a kid. But I love it because it's scary. But, you watched it as a kid And I tried alone. to watch it again within the last 10 years. And you watched it again as an with adult. me. How do you think you would do... Watching, watching it alone it again? with a group of friends? Because I don't think you've watched it with a group. And you know, like, when you watch a movie with a group, movies are funnier. Even if it's really terrible, it's like, oh, I'm still having well, a good time. Well, but the question is, would you watch it or would you talk all the way through it? Because we tend to watch bad movies and we yeah, just bullshit we do. through it. we do. I think if I was to try to sit down and watch it, like, I think it'd still be scary. But I think if we handled it, like, the bullshitting like and bad, the getting like up and bad, getting bad treats bad and stuff, yeah. yeah, then I think I could make it through it. But part of me is kind of like, no, this movie has been scary to me. Mm -hmm. Like, let mm -hmm. it be the scary movie that I don't make it through. Okay. I, I respect the hell out of that. So I, I actually, that's I, the that's the that's that's my version of the the scary part of yeah, Halloween, yeah. not like the creepy, not yeah, the yeah, goofy, yeah, yeah, not the, the whimsy. This is the scary aspect. Okay. And then I saw it, and then every other movie that had clowns in it. I mean, you and I have watched some bad clown movies, and Whoa, that doesn't yeah. do it. Like but Clownado. Reading it, that scared me. And then watching the original it with Tim Curry, I was like, okay, like that he's a creepy. Tim, He's a creepy Pennywise. Tim Curry's a creepy, crazy motherfucker. It, like, yeah. as himself, so. Yeah, so, like, the clowns, it, I was, I didn't like clowns much, some of those movies. Yeah, I, But yeah. it all stems from killer clowns. The phobia I have all stems from killer when clowns. When you and I used to go to the video store, you would kind of suss out the clown horror movies, though. You'd be like, wait, what's that? I want to watch that. So, like. So that's like getting on a roller coaster. You know you're scared, but you like to do it. So maybe uh, I'm like, okay. maybe that's it. Maybe okay. I'm like, oh, what's that? Let's watch. Clown NATO. <laughs> oh my god. We made we like, turned it off we made like, like ten, minutes, ten in. minutes into it because it was all like a back It was so bad. of a detective agency. And that's not what I wanted. And then I watched it one I and two. I want a tornado though. full of clowns. The new it one and two. Yeah, they're fantastic. They're very good. Yeah, yeah. they're great. So like I can I can watch clown movies, good or bad. Yeah, yeah. But like this one, I have the mental block. I watched it too young, can't watch it. Okay. It, it traumatized me. Okay. So that's the the Halloween fear. And then the horror houses that we've gone to where I'm like, Jason, you cannot let these clowns get me. And then that one chased me with the chainsaw. And I didn't know that it didn't have the blade on the chainsaw. Obviously, you're in a house with people. But yeah. that was terrifying. Yeah. Uh, and I, I held onto your shirt because you tried to leave me. That's what I wanted to say. I. You tried it, to leave me so fast. I thought it was funny. And I saw him in the corner. I know. And I did this. 
get her. And, and I didn't see that because I was just looking at the back of Jason's I shirt. I had your hoodie up against and me. I knew. And then you started walking faster. And I was like, you son of a bitch, your legs are longer. And you're like, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. <laughs> I, so I wish there was the, a better end to that story, no, but that is no, it. No, no, that's it. We, that, <laughs> you haven't, I'll find something that scares you. You know what scares me. And cockroach we, is climbing up your bee hole. Not cool. That's it. That's, <laughs> I'm going to go find a rubber cockroach. No, we have this. Not fuck no. We oh about spiders. We yeah, you don't rule. you don't fuck around with spiders with me, and I don't fuck around with cockroaches with you. That's right. No rubber cockroaches. No cockroaches near the bee hole. Or in the house. Or the out hole, or in the, the, the pee hole. Or <laughs> no the cockroaches hole. at no, all. No cockroaches in, in any sense ability, please. No. Okay. So uh, that's my number two, so the, the my traumatic two, childhood. My Hold number on. two, to not mess up your traumatic childhood, I actually saw at a very young age as well. Okay. Came out well, in but you watched a lot of horror movies. I watched movies a lot of horror movies. So in 85, you would have been six. What uh, were you watching at six years old? I didn't see it in 85. I saw it afterwards because, you know, we didn't go to the theater to watch horror movies. I had to wait until it came on HBO. I was, your, your I was a child. Had a, your folks had HBO? Yeah, we were like one of the first Ooh. ones on the block, yeah. All right, what was it? I, I can totally, like, look at the back of the wall because there's a poster back up there signed by Leanna Quigley. Um, this movie oh! stands the test of time to me. Yes, you still watch it. We've watched it together recently. It's, it's brilliant on so many levels. It's... Mm -hmm. uh, 1985's Return of the Living Dead. I fucking love. But is it the this nostalgia? Movie. Did it scare you? Like, what okay. aspect is it that okay. this brings with so, you? Because movie... you're not a huge zombie fan. Well, mm, you're not like, oh, zombies, I, everything. I was for like, a while. this one was your jam. This though. was my this was so my jam. Why? Hands down. It is a direct unofficial sequel to George Romero's Night of the Living Dead. And what's it called? What's your movie called? Return of the Living Dead. <sighs> okay. So Night of the Living this Dead. This is why I can't keep them straight. In 1968, Night of the Living Dead was made. They filed the copyright for the name wrong. Oh. So they don't own the name Night of the Living Dead. So anyone and their brother can use that movie in anything else or use Make the title or oh. the remake or the sequel or anything like Can that. Make... What it boils down to was uh, the studio wanted to make a direct sequel because George did Dawn of the Dead and he did Day of the Dead, which came out the same year as Return of the Living Dead. But they tapped Dan O'Bannon as the director for Return of the Living Dead. I will only do this if I can take it seriously, but not take from someone else's ideas. I want it okay. to be its own thing. So the studio Much really didn't like that, that idea. and Dan <laughs> They didn't like the idea of him doing something unique and yeah. new. No, God. That's fucking the Hollywood system I know, right there. I know. So uh, it is an unofficial sequel because it is so on the nose good. Basically, it's a bunch of years later. It's like 30 years later after the what happened. Night of the Living Dead. Tw 20 years later. I'm really good at math. And um, there's a guy working at a medical supply center and they get a big uh, uh, drum. drum with something in it. And the best part of the movie, at least in my opinion, is when they start talking about that movie. About oh. Night of the Living Dead. Like, like they're mentioning Night of the Living Dead, like that movie. Oh, okay. Did you see that movie, Night of the Living Dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one where the corpses start eating the pupil, right? Sure. What, what about it? Did you know that movie was based on a true case? <laughs> oh, come on, you're shitting me, right? I ain't never been more serious in my life. That's not possible. I mean, they showed zombies taking over the world. Well, they changed it all around. What really happened was... They tried to cover up the truth. Oh! Like, that really happened. That's a happened. fun take on that. Yeah. yeah. It was, like, if this drum is found, f uh, 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 call this number, yep. you know, and the military will come and save you. Lo and behold, they end up burning a body that was bitten by someone by okay. accident. Yeah. And then that goes into the air because they're a crematorium. Oh, and then okay. that rain comes down next to a fucking cemetery <laughs> and all hell breaks loose on July 4th. Um, it is so bloody brilliant. So why do you brilliant. like it? Okay, I like it for a bunch of different reasons. Yeah. I love it for the 
the feeling I get when I watch it because it is fucking terrifying in the best ways. They take the zombies seriously. Right. The makeup's good. The effects are the good. Is good. The fear is really good. I love that there's like backstory to the movie, like of the characters, but they never go into it. To me, it's like walking into the cantina in Star Wars. Okay. There's a hundred characters in there. You know, everybody's got its own thing going on. And, and it's obvious they all have their own thing it's going a, on. It's a universe that yeah. you're not a part of you're yet. Not, yeah. You're just seeing a snippet. Like, they go see the doctor next door, the mortician next door. Mm -hmm. He's obviously a Nazi in hiding. <laughs> Okay. But they never like tell you that. They never, they never bring go it into it. Yeah. But it's like the subtle hints but throughout the movie. But they gave him a character. Yeah. A background. It's and really character. good. And cool. the other thing I really like about it was this was the first movie that gave a reason why the dead are eating the living. Oh, okay. Instead of just mindless. Instead of oh, just they mindless eat brains. Violence. It explained yeah. from their aspect at and least why. To my knowledge, this is the first movie where brains was what zombies wanted. Okay. Um, they never wanted brains before this because That's they cool. said brains helped ease the pain of being dead. You can hear me. Yes. Why do you eat people? Not people. Brains. Brains only. Yes. Why? The pain. What about the pain? The pain of being dead. It hurts to be dead. I can feel myself rot. Oh, God. So That's heartbreaking which, in a way, Which too. makes you think. It's like, oh, yeah. God, this is not just a mindless monster. This is it's a fucking a corporeal that's being in, in that's pain. in pain. And is trying to seek out relief the only way that the they know The only how. way nature knows how. Yeah. So, and uh, hands down, one of the best quotes of all time in any movie. All right. How does it go? Look at the camera. Then more paramedics. <laughs> <laughs> I also like... I did that wrong. I don't care. Here's how it actually is. Rescue 7, come in. This is dispatch. Do you copy over? Come in, dispatch. Send more... Just from that line alone, yeah. though, you know that these zombies are intelligent. Well, they talk, they run, they they're have fucking thought. terrifying. Yes, they, they have thought. thought. And that, to the me... The thought is the scariest. He knew, or it, whatever, yeah, yeah. knew how to get more people there. And I think what I like and most I just, about it... And, and he has is, a sense of humor. Yeah. Because it's kind of funny, you know? And yeah, that's terrifying. You can terrifying. tell like their brains are kind of rotten, so they're trying to connect certain things. Yeah, it's a it's a terrifying. It's a really well good, thought out. And uh, premise, the the actually. I think it's called the ooze man or the, the sludge man, the tar man, tar man, tar man. The the zombie inside the the bucket. Who's there? I have a very short list of who I would want to cosplay at a convention. <laughs> okay. Uh, it includes a suburban Sasquatch, yeah. Rip and Grinder from Hobo with a Shotgun, yeah. and the Tar Man. The problem with the Tar Man is I'm way too chubby and I'm way too big, and I have to like put on a lot of fucking goo, goo and I, yeah. I, I don't want to do that. Uh, but that would hands down be one of my favorite cosplay ever to do. It well, is maybe, terrifying. Maybe one year we could figure it out for Halloween and you could sit on the front porch Just and head up candy. scare the piss out of every kid. With oh goo. my God, I want to do that. Yeah, we could do that. <gasps> You don't have to cosplay it. We could do that. And then you could just come upstairs and shower. You wouldn't have to like sit in the goo all day. I don't think I've ever loved you more. I know. We can make you the tar man. Who would I be? Because I don't have the body of trash. Oh my God. Would you dress up as trash? Oh my God. Would you dress up as trash? <laughs> oh my God. Would you dress up as trash? <laughs> I'm nearly skinny enough. I'm killing two birds with one stone right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but speaking of which, this is the movie when we started watching bad movies. Mm, and mm. I remembered one of your buddies is a huge Linnea Quigley fan. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know who I, I don't really know that I get it. And 
I can't remember if we watched this first or Nightmare Sisters first. Oh, we, we, we absolutely watched this first. Okay. Nightmare Sisters was so like So then I was like, oh my God. Year. You said, see, there she is. She say, oh, there's her boobs. And I was like, oh yeah, she takes <laughs> off her top and like everything. But so then we saw her in the Nightmare Sisters. And mm -hmm. then we saw her in Police Academy. Uh, 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 Vice, Vice, Vice Academy. Vice Academy. Um, but so now like watching her in that, it's made me a Linnea Quigley fan. She is so fun. She captivating. Just, she's captivating. Yeah. And so what if she takes her top off and everything? Like yeah, she's got no. great tits. But her in that in that movie is just she's just fun to watch. I love her because she's she so goes goofy. so in she to goes every hard character. into every role. And she doesn't do it cheesily unless it calls for it in yeah. the story. And I love her because she just fucking does it. Like, yeah. she knows what movie she's in. She, yeah. she knows Nightmare Sisters isn't going to be a Criterion release. No, but she plays it well. And she plays she it well. She gives it her all. And she's not just a cute, like, some of the movies we see where it's like, oh, you're the director's girlfriend. Right, right You right, know, like, right. she, well, I mean, she gives monsters. it her all, though. You know, yeah. like, yeah, she's going to get topless. Or, yeah, she's yeah. going to say a cheesy line. Or, yeah, she's the dumb blonde. Yeah. She does a lot of ditzy characters. Yeah, but like right. she plays it seriously. She's not I like, love her. oh, I guess I forgot my lines. Like, and no, like, she delivers. Right. And and behind She's the so scenes, good. I really liked her because she refused to be like the female victim for a while. Mm. She wanted to have, be like the female murderer. And uh, I think she did like two or three movies in a row, like Murder Weapon, something else, Calendar Girls or something like that. And they're not good. Yeah. But I love that she wanted to try something. Yeah. And it's not just her. Like every yeah. one in the cast... Uh, that is a very good is just yeah that's a good number two for you Return of the Living Dead is just timeless flawless and I can watch it every year You and you can watch it any time of the year it's not a yeah Halloween you just movie. watch this but the fact that it scared you as a kid and the fact oh. that it captivated you as yeah. a teenager and an adult like that's a timeless movie yep and I knew Agreed. this like I, I should have guessed that this I would have guessed it was number one because that's the one thing I remember from when you and I met mm-hmm and I was like, oh, that's the one like this. Because I always mix it up with Return of the Day of the Living Dead, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn I, of the Dead. I, I don't understand how you The can... Dawn of the Dead with the Sky Flowers. And you're like, yeah, that was an okay remake, but you need to see where it came from. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, God, that's black and white. It's so... Oh, you liked it. I, when we got done with Night of the Living Dead, Night you of the like, Living Dead, yes. This was actually pretty but good. But the first one that's black and white... Yeah, that was Night of the Living Dead. Oh, no, I didn't like that one. Yes, I liked you the did. One, I liked the one that you're talking about now. Re of the, Return of the Living Dead. Return of the Living Dead. All right, let's just skip this because you're you're making me so upset right now. I know, now. but either way, I'm just saying, like, you, you spoke very highly of this movie. You have... Yeah, yeah, referenced yeah, 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 it. You've yeah, yeah. quoted it. Like I should have known that. I reference it a lot. And you a lot do, of shit. yeah. Um, so I knew it stuck yeah. with you. That's that's a good one. That's part of you. That, it's kind and, of made you who you are. Yeah. Kind of in the same way of Evil Dead Two, though, where your love of films and how they can be made mm -hmm, and how like mm -hmm. what creative right. creativity and process could go into it. I can see why that as a kid you were like. I'm going to make these. Yep. I want to make exactly. these. Exactly. Yeah. Watch it again. How did they do that? Watch yep. it again. How did they do that? So that's really cool. And I, I will never show anyone those movies because they are oh, dog shit I want to see those movies. Because <laughs> yeah. you're going to expect something like Evil Dead 2. Oh, go, no, oh, I'm not. Oh, it no. is not. No. Um, I actually, Some people strike gold on their first few and everyone else is us. What? Nor norm <laughs> us normal people that aren't working in Hollywood right now. I was right about now. to say, like, I think like three of our watchers were in a feature-length film with me in college. Which one? Sick? No. Well, uh, that was another one. <laughs> I, can, I can name two of those um, people, I think. The movie I shot, we basically I asked a bunch of friends in college to stay over for Christmas yes. break. Yeah. And we spent like three weeks making a feature film. And we had everything open to us on campus and nothing was closed. And we were just like, Look, we're just going to go make this movie. And it, it was called Within the Dark 2. Oh, but because, there was no Within the nope, Dark No, nope, no, nope, because in eighth grade, I made a movie called Within the Dark. Oh, no. And, and there's zero correlation, but we thought it would be funny as hell to have a sequel to a movie that no one's ever heard of. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and it's the, the plot no isn't terrible. Like it's it's still like I mean it's cheesy straight to video garbage. Yeah, but, but my God, we know like, there's a market for those. Which really you makes me want. You could release this one. To, I don't have all the tapes. There are missing tapes. Um, could you make it a little? Could you put that into the story somehow? I don't know. I've thought about it. I've I have the tapes somewhere. 
in the basement. I know exactly where they are. Oh, God. They're in a yellow case in the basement. Oh, no. Um, I have never digitized them. They, yeah. I've watched them and go, no. Oh. The world is better for not having No, this. I'm never showing anyone, but I will keep them. But I will keep them because <laughs> one day maybe I will. Yeah. Maybe well, I'll, just... I'll do a grizzly too and just shoot all new footage today. <laughs> I can <laughs> just see, in. though, how your, your number two and your number three how they molded you as a person. Mold, Those are me. very good Which is going di to disappoint you for my last one because I think as an emotional builder character moment, I should have chosen one of those as my number one. Mm, I don't think so. That's not what it's about. That's not what it's about. So, What is your number one? Number one, speaking of Mr. Tim Curry. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh! Oh! The way! Didn't see this one coming All legitimately. The way. Did not Seriously? see it. Seriously? Didn't see it. All the way. Okay. Okay. Not scary at all. But you have a guy. It's very scary. Dr. It's Franken terrifying. There's Dr. a guy in a golden Dr. underwear. Dr. Frankenfurter who makes the perfect man. Yeah. So, oh, okay. It's a, like, it's a little Frankenstein-y. He's making his own monster, but he's the perfect specimen. You have kind of like mm, decrepit looking people. You have a couple madly in love that are stuck in the rain and they go to this strange person's yeah, mansion. Being stuck in the rain is terrifying. And it you have- every anime slice so of no, life No, I romance. just mean like, oh, it's the premise. Oh, a dark rainy night, your car breaks down, you go and mm, knock on a stranger's mm, door. Mm. But instead of being murdered in your sleep, you're treated to songs. You're seduced by Dr. Frankenfurter. Treated is both a of real them, strong word. Both of them are seduced by him. Um, you have Tim Curry strutting around in a corset, I love, fishnets, yeah. no, I, I, I and love platform Curry. heels. Nothing but love there, yeah. He's captivating he to watch. He is. Magenta, mm. I love, and just, you have Meatloaf, who's like the dead Eddie guy. You, my you my just, brain actually stopped for a second. I thought you meant Magenta brought out no, dinner. No, I'm just saying the best I forgot the best there was aspects. a person named Meatloaf. Yeah, Meatloaf is the character. He I'm played aware. Eddie and... And he was dead. <laughs> and magenta. It's fun. It's fun and it's timeless. Mm. And I'm not the only one because people watch oh, this aware. in in on the stage. Like yeah. the best costume ideas. Like just be yourself. Mm. Like that's what it's all about. Like just yeah, let yeah. your freak flag freak flag fly all the time. Just who fucking cares? Yeah. And it's just fun and it it gets you moving and it makes you happy even if you don't like musicals mm -hmm. and um it's just ever since the first time i saw it and i've never seen it live but i'll watch it on you know on tv over and over again and it never loses its magic it is just so fun so that's my number one and i freaking love tim curry i love him and all the time i wish i had a cat named janet so i could be like damn, damn it, it janet, janet. Do you ever see part two? Instead, I say, damn it, Yuki. <laughs> no. You haven't seen part two, shock treatment. No. Why? Because why? Why mess with something so perfect? Well, why dirty it in concrete, my mind? Concrete. I agree. But I, I, I said concurred and agreed. And agreed together. Yeah, yeah. Concrete. concrete. Um, you concree. <laughs> I concree. Uh, <laughs> Actually, that's a pretty cool word. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, it's made. It's out there. Why not try it? Because I don't want to. This movie is perfect in my mind. Okay. That's, I that's don't, weird. I don't want to spoil that at all. The okay. movie is immaculate. So it's like not watching Iron Man 3. Like I've it, never seen it. What's your number one? <laughs> no, when, is it Iron Man 3? It's Iron Man 3. Um, <laughs> when did you first watch Rocky Horror? Probably when I was 10 or so. What, like, did it stir emotions in you? Because, like, watching it as a child, I'm sure, is much different than watching it as someone who's going through the higher ends of puberty, where, like, you're learning your sexuality, and you're yeah. learning, like, the world is well, different than I what Well, I mean, I think at the and... very beginning, I mean, you know, same with, um, I always tell you, like, the Annie Lennox, some of her videos, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and David Bowie. Mm -hmm. He wore a lot of makeup, and she dressed very masculine. She yeah. has the music videos where she's in a suit and a tie, and... Um, but so it was kind of around that same age though. And I was like, I didn't know who Tim Curry was. Well, and you also like, grew up in a real this... right link, right a conservative community. Yeah. yeah. But just that sort of thing was kind of like, oh, that's weird. Like why? Oh, that's cool. You know, but like this mm -hmm. movie specifically, I think it just, it goes over and out of its way to say like, be whoever you want to be. 
like and at, you know the end of the song like don't dream it just be it you yeah. know like so i think that that's it's a good segue a good gateway to being accepting of everybody because it's like cool like yeah. nobody looks as good as tim curry in, in a corset and heels nobody and yeah um, well, well me yeah so i just I was maybe too young to get a lot of it. Maybe, you know, rewatching it. You always mm. see something else. You always oh, learn course, something else. Yeah, you always yeah. figure out something else. And then you just learn more as you go on mm -hmm, and on and mm -hmm. on. And it's like, oh, okay, there are people that do this. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, you watch it again and you're like, oh, yeah. You know, like, I maybe know people that do this. You know, that like oh, to... Hopefully. Like to dress up. Like to cross-dress. Like to... Yeah, and, you know, now... Create with, people with and put gender, them in gold underwear. Well, with gender topics and stuff now, mm. even, you know, it's like... Who cares? Agreed. Just be who Agreed. you want to be. Agreed. And yeah. he was, you know, in a, in a different, completely over-the-top way, being who he wanted to be and creating the perfect muscle man that, like, eh, to my standards, like, that guy was not much to look at. It's not like, really. man, Tim Curry could have been the, the that, Rocky. That movie is T-A-F. Theatrical as fuck. It really is. It really um, is. I just, I don't see anything wrong with it. It is fun on every rewatch. The re only thing I have wrong with that movie. And I... And it stirs up, like, I my don't little... like My it. little goth side. I'm like, yes, oh, yes. I want to wear the huge black makeup with the glitter and the red lips. And I, if I had a body like Tim Curry, I fucking would. I would. I don't dislike the music, but... But you really hate musicals, too. Musicals turn me off. But is this not one that you can get behind? It is. It It, it is. But like, I think the story is dumb. I I don't. I'm not a fan of it. It's it's but nothing that's gonna I, shatter your. World. I respect the fuck out of it on too many levels to ever talk yeah. bad about it. Yeah. Uh, the one thing I do not like is the fandom. The fandom the for rabid. the fandom for anything is it's like disgusting. It, I hate that I like this and you like it too. Like, just, <laughs> yes. just let us like this in peace. Why do you have yes. to be this way? Yeah. <laughs> Why can't you just like ponies? Why do you have to be a dude that thinks about ponies as his wife? Yeah. And no. Why do you have to be this person that, you know, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the, yeah. the rabid fans of anything. It's, it's the rat. yeah. You're right, though. And you know just more than I do about fandom. Yeah. You, you go to the, you went to comic conventions. I've been to pony conventions. A lot you, growing you've up. You've been to a pony No, convention. but I just mean like you. But I've been to a lot of comic conventions. You grew up in a lot of these. I grew up at, like, I grew up at comic conventions. And when yeah. I went, I was like, oh, there's people that do this and that. And you're like, yeah. Like, because I had never been right. to these. So, right. but the fans of anything. Mm, no, I. The rabid the fans rabid of anything fans, yeah. is too much yeah. sometimes. They, I, give, I think they give fans a bad name. Yeah. What is your number one? My number one movie that I would love to watch and feel and relive what's it gonna around be? Halloween time. Oh no, what's it gonna be? Is probably The one... Brotherhood of the Thorns. It... What? That's a subsect of a story of the Halloween movies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that never went anywhere. What is it? They got what's bored with one? it and confused people, so they just shut it down. I know, in the I'm movie. confused. I've only ever seen three movies as an adult that have shook me to the point that I need to understand more about them and like really re-look at cinema as a whole. Okay. To say like, is this art? Is this is this just horrible shit that I, you know? You didn't put Suburban Sasquatch as number one, did you? Yeah, of course I did. Suburban Sasquatch, no, no, no. You put uh, the Blurple guy? <laughs> Amazing bulk? <laughs> Amazing bulk. Well, it ain't Barney the Purple Dinosaur. On what that side this? note, I'm going to say the other two movies that shook me. Okay, and then, uh, but they're not your number they one. They are not my number one, and neither of them are on my honorable mentions. Okay. Because I don't recommend the movies to anyone who is not into extreme okay. horror. Okay, well, don't tell us what they're about. Just tell us yeah, the Yeah, I'm just going to tell you that. Uh, August on, on Underground. Okay, yeah. And that movie I liked because of the aesthetic of how it was they made. Did a, yeah, they did a good snuff no film. No credits. Yeah. It's a snuff film exactly 60 minutes long. Yep. Because that's it, how long a mini DVD tape done. is. Yeah. That's fucking brilliant. And then brilliant. what's the other one? Uh, the other one was a Serbian film. Okay, yeah, we don't need which to go into that. Which I'll never watch again. Viewers, don't go looking for I, it unless it is, you want to get yourself into something. It is probably one of the something. only films I don't recommend you people watch. You will never rewatch. 
And it, it, that movie was the only movie I had ever had pause in the middle and go, I need a fucking break. Go watch some My Little Ponies and come to, back refreshed. And yeah, eye bleach. I needed exactly. eye bleach. You need a brain bleach. That, okay, so what is your number one? Because so my number that one, one I and might this, be. this is why I recommend it because not only is it haunting and like real fucking kind of soul shaking, but it's good and okay. fucking fun. Okay. Uh, the Pokipsky tapes. Really? Yeah. I loved that movie. Are you movie. kidding? I loved that movie. I didn't movie. see this coming at all. Um, this movie shook me because I'd heard about it for a long time. I we actually finally watched it yeah. together. And I was entranced. I don't remember you loving it that much. That is so cool. A third of the way through the movie, I had to pause the movie. I looked over at you. And I jumped on my phone. I'm like, is this movie a documentary? Is this real? The movie is a fake documentary following a serial killer where the investigators and the detectives find the videotapes that he makes of killing the women and the victims. It was made so marvelously well that it tricked someone who is fucking someone who knows better who is insanely like descriptive about and like how very, films work yeah and you're very you you don't believe want to believe stuff i don't you're like yeah. nope fake nope fake yeah, yeah i look and for the fake got first you going and it got me going like how real, real is this and i was i was captivated by it and the tapes themselves were soul sickening there were a few tapes in there that made me like, like that squicked me. Really? I love being squicked because it's very hard to it do. It is very. Um, so when it happens, it's like, you get a kudos, you get a kudos. Um, I love that movie so much and I have non-stopped wow. recommending it everywhere I go. Maybe we need to watch it again. I don't I remember happily will. liking it that much. Yeah, happily will. I just will. think that's really cool that it changed you that much. I want a hard copy of it so I can watch a commentary. Yeah, oh so yeah. So I can get the behind the scenes. I've, I've, I've will watched... Will that ruin it for you though? It, will it ruin the magic? It might. Because you don't have any movies like this. You very rarely have movies like this. Where I actually believe and, it. Like, like where, believe so, it could be good. You can suspend your reality for just a little yeah, bit. Suspend this is, your disbelief. The suspension of disbelief, yeah. So, watching the thing, I wonder if you'll... The commentary, I wonder if you'd never be able to suspend your I've watched yet. other reviews online. I've never watched a making of or anything like that. But yeah. I've watched people far smarter than me talk about it. And they nail the what reasons I like it. Okay. And basically it comes down to they're making a mockumentary of murder documentaries. Yeah. Like following a killer. Yeah. And you watch those all the time and I've watched them with you. I don't yeah. really enjoy them. But you see where the magic comes from then when you watch it this way. You're Bingo. like, it's done in that way. Bingo. Okay. And this wow. was far more haunting than wow. uh, anything, any of the real documentaries where it's like real serial killers. I didn't see that wasn't. coming at all. Yeah. That's really cool. And, and like it still kind of shakes shakes me as an adult. Not only as an adult, but as a filmmaker who knows as a how, filmmaking adult how that to makes make movies, those decisions. That has for taught a classes film. on filmmaking, yes. that has gotten degrees in filmmaking, yes. that has made movies. Yeah. And it still got you. And it still got me. That's why that it's is my how one. you know it's a good movie. Yeah, like yes. the Evil Dead 2 created who it changed I was who going you were. to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Return of the Living Dead made me rethink a lot about what was scary and yeah. what was fun and blah, blah. And how movies can and be made. I'm not going to say Poughkeepsie Tapes is like the life-altering movie. No, but the all, fact but that recent, it got you. It's pretty, pretty fucking high, high The fact high that there. it made you rethink things. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's a good number one. And usually, I, I mean, not to toot my own horn, but when we're watching movies. Yes. You you are very good at you'll, picking stuff you'll out. You'll see something and I'll be like, okay, well, that's obviously mm -hmm. going to lead to this. Because that's story structure. You're like, that's why how would you, we see that? It must be important later. Either you, they did it so well you didn't want to point those things out or they they got by you one way or the other. Or they designed it to be more like a documentary yep. Yep. where that shit doesn't happen. Yep. That is Which, a great reason for it to be number one. This is not my runner-up for number one, but it's on the same vein. An honorable mention. It's an honorable mention. For... Uh, Behind the Mask, the story of Leslie Vernon. Okay, okay. Very similar. Which um, is basically feel. a breakdown mock... It's a doc, fake documentary 
following a serial, following mm -hmm. a slasher. Mm -hmm. Very different between a serial yes, killer and a slasher. slasher. Following a slasher about like he, ha he has to work out so he can run <laughs> around and yeah. get in the closet before he she can get there. He has to get endurance. Um, yep. But that that movie was great. That then, movie was more fun. It was, oh yeah, though. it was fun. It like was fun. they really poked them so, fun at themselves yeah. with that. But like that movie, I think opened the doors for a lot more meta mm -hmm. horror meta, films. Yeah, very. Yeah. Like we grew up with this. We know all mm -hmm. these tropes. Let's start playing on. Like them. the last girls. Um, oh, which was a gr final girls. Final girls. Oh, um, final girls is fantastic. But same kind of thing where they kind I of make fun of themselves a little yeah, bit. Yeah, of course you, you, they do. You lean into the tropes. You call out the the stereotypes. Yeah. yeah, one of my favorite jokes about Final Girls was they get transported into the other world, into yeah. the horror movie, yeah. and they have to wait 85 minutes for the next car to come because oh. that's how long the movie was. Because <laughs> then the movie restarted. Hey, do you guys know the way to Camp Blue Finch? I thought that was so funny. <laughs> that is. That's very smart. Well, um, so while we're on the vein of honorable mentions. Yeah, honorable mentions. Let's, I'm uh, going to throw out mine first, just oh, all in a row. Oh, you have them all listed? No, well, you'll see. Oh, shit, I got to so, copy shit. So, found footage. I have Rec as an example. Oh, I... Uh, um, uh, I like found footage movies. Oh, like as a total? Yes. As like genre? So I'm doing more genres with an example. Okay, okay. Um, I, I like all of the Cloverfield. I like, you know, and that's kind of found footage. The first... Um, the first one was at least very Cloverfieldy. I you, like that. You really liked the one with John Goodman too, where it, was, it took in place the, inside in the, the capsule thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I really like found footage movies. There's something, but not Blair Witch. I didn't like that one. Why? I don't know. But so there's that something. One works. Maybe I'll watch it again. Um, but there's just something like creepy about it. it could puts be real. you. It puts you in the movie. Yeah, yeah it could yeah, be real. Right. But it also puts you in it, and it's like turn. Like there's something over there, <laughs> and. But the person holding the camera isn't maybe paying attention. They're looking this way and the camera's looking mm -hmm. that way. It's like, mm -hmm. look, look, you know, like, or somebody found this and it's like, oh, this happened to somebody. So yeah, just yeah. found footage in general. That's a genre okay. I have with Rec okay. being one okay. of the, the best examples of that. Um, I like Rec 3 too, but like Rec 3 broke that rule. Wait, yeah. Wait, Rec 3 or Rec 4? The, the, the wedding one. Yep. That one was good. That, that was fun. Um, I liked Quarantine as well, which the, then you the, told me, hey, that's off of American Rec. Remake. And then we watched Rec. Yeah. Um, Cabin in the Woods, um, kind of goes in with your, like, your last the, couple the, where it's a little tongue meta. in cheek. Yeah. Um, cause I watched it and I was like, Jason, this is like, I didn't, I don't think I got it the first time. Mm -hmm. And you were trying to explain it to me and I watched it again and I was like, cause it's one of those ones where people hated it. It, and then, the but then is, everyone is, else is like, "You guys didn't get it." You also didn't watch the two hundred other movies before that go you into had this. to watch this. Yeah, so I yeah. like that one. Um, that kind of, specifically that one. Uh, do you think you're appreciating appreciating it more now that you are watching all these old yeah. '80s slasher yeah. stuff? Yeah, and... yeah, for sure. Okay. On that same but opposite note, um, nope. any two thousands forward. Uh, <laughs> Remakes of classics. Yeah. Um, I, I, you I will try as you might to get me to watch The Hills Have Eyes. I'll watch it's the more. I'll movie. watch the recent one. Oh, you kill you me. You try the, to get the, me to watch any of bad. the Leatherface movies, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. First two were And flawless. I love the new ones. Like, you and I had a lot of fun watching those. Oh, I that, know they're not good. That latest one was pretty dope. Or I'm though. like, oh, Jay. Yeah, that was. And I'm like, oh, Jay, have you seen this Prom Night movie? It's so fun. And you're oh like, that's God. based off of an 80s movie. It's a remake. It's not and I'm based. Like, it's I know. direct fucking um, Or, oh, you know, like, so just all of those. Yeah. I just have this spot in my heart. I will watch yeah. this and be like, you'll be like, can't we just watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? And I'm like, not if it's the old one. Like, I just, I like the new ones. Uh, I like them a lot. Doesn't mean yeah, they're yeah, better. Yeah, Doesn't yeah, mean yeah. that at all. Oh, but yeah, I like I them. It. Paranormal Activity, the first one only. Yep. That movie and I was scared to admit it to you because, like, you were like, "That was so silly." Um, no, the first the first one was great. Was like, that fucking scared me because it was, again, it's kind of a found footage it was thing. Done subtly, it, was it had the subtlety to it. Like yeah. that movie scared me. I get it. I get it. That was a legit scary movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, that I haven't watched now, since then because I don't want it to lose the magic. Have you for watched me. all of them? No. 
Fans say like part five or six, whatever one where like like they actually like go over. Do you have to the watch episode. them in an, in an order? Yeah, because there's like an ongoing story. Oh, okay. I've only watched the first three, and I hated two and three, and so I gave up. But That's fans what always about. say like, what is it, four or five? I don't I don't know which one is, but they say like it gets pretty fucking decent. Okay. I'm well, not gonna just, watch them. One but... just has the magic. Like, oh yeah, it's it's great. Still, like I remember, I was like, I can't tell Jason, but like I'm gonna have to like put my back up against him at yeah, night yeah, yeah. and like pull the blankets up and put my bl my fingers inside the blanket and put the blanket up to here. Like I don't want anything to see me while I sleep. The it only was so thing creepy. that pissed me off about that movie was everyone and their brother came out of the fucking woodwork after that movie came out. Yeah. And and wanted to invest in a movie that cost fourteen hundred dollars, and then they'd walk away with like a billion bucks. I got. Yeah. I was making horror movies at that time. Wasn't that movie like eleven thousand? What? What? I, th I think it was like fourteen thousand. Like it was very low budget. Yeah, it's extreme low budget. And um, they just had, they so just like, struck gold. But with I it. had so many of like, like my parents' friends be like, "Oh, you make movies? Uh, 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 here's twenty bucks. Here's fifty bucks. Go make a good movie that makes a billion dollars yeah. and give me money." And I was like, "That's not how this it works, ruined man." It. Yeah. Yeah. It, it because every other fucking asshole jumped on the plate and yep. tried to do the exact same thing. Yep. And it doesn't work. You can't just keep doing the same you thing and hoping to hit gold. It's like you those just fucking assholes be... who do the Dybbuk box of videos on oh YouTube. Oh my God, yeah. You and I tried to watch a couple of those movies based on that. And we were like, this is... It was is... so stupid. Yes. Um, anyway, sorry. Another one that's a good honorable mention yeah. that still creeps me out to this day. And it is like a modern day horror movie, okay. I think. Jeepers Creepers. <gasps> the first one. Yeah, yeah, just the first one. They, they, they don't hold uh, up. The, no, the they don't, ones. and I haven't rewatched it in a long time, but it's just got a good feeling where you're like, this isn't that scary, but I'm kind of creeped out. It's just fun as hell. It does, yeah, I, I get that. Um, another genre I like, and I know it's a broad one, but like slasher films, modern day slasher films. Like, And when I say modern day, I guess I mean what started with Scream and I know what you did last summer. I would call that modern day slasher, okay. Yes. Uh, the meta slasher. The, yeah. the slasher that knows it's a slasher film, yeah. not a horror film that yeah. happens to be a slasher. Like, it's yeah. not the scary. I wasn't scared by any of those. No, And no. even the newest Scream, real fun. Ew, and I, it's I, all I, my I, uncle it, and this and that. It was not bad, so, but it was, yeah, it was bad. Yeah, but so I like those. <laughs> it's not great, but I do like those. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then my last, um, it's an example, The Strangers. Yep, Of a go. wider genre, Jason We'll scroll through our server, <laughs> we'll flip through our DVDs, and I'll say, stop. That one looks like a couple being terrorized in their home. And he's like, yeah, it is. Those three and people I on the cover wear a mask. I'll watch it all. I'll watch it And they're sitting all. on a couch. I'm like, these guys are in a cabin in the woods, and people come to the house and like keep them in there and try to get in? Oh, these people wear masks and terrorize you at a resort? Okay, I'm totally in. Outside of three movies that I can name, how many have you liked? I mean, I like them all. You liked Funny Games. I liked Funny Games a lot. I liked Strangers. I liked Us. You like Strangers? It's an example. The Strangers. Yep. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. The Strangers. I didn't th think you liked that Isn't one. Isn't that I... the one with the Liv Tyler? Jennifer Love Hewitt? One of those two? I guess. Um, I as don't, the mom? I don't know who they are. Oh, okay. Um, and, and Us? By I mean, the ugly yeah. fat one? Oh my God! Stop! Um, he's the beautiful, he's, he's amazing one. He's excellent at making movies, but he's so ugly and fat. And I looked this woman in the eye. I said, "Bitch." You said that. Psh, yeah, I said, "Bitch." He's so beautiful and handsome. Uh, you're thinking of my guy, Keegan. No. You're thinking of Ke uh, no, Keegan Michael Key. I, I, I am um, wholeheartedly. He's good at making movies, though, and that one was creepy and good. Yeah, but, like, great. even bad movies, even these B movies that we scroll through, I'm like, I want to watch that. It looks like they're camping well, and, and they're going to be terrorized. You like the first. I uh, want to watch that. The first. Shit, what was the name of that movie where the 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 the, 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 the fucking Oh Purge Purge, thank yes, you. So this, <laughs> is, like, this, this is why you and I are gonna win every charades game we I ever know. Play. The 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 outside, you yeah, know? the purge when people try to get in. So I almost put purge on here, but I was like, it's not really a Halloween y movie. Mm. Um so I will mention that in my honorable mentions. That was in that category yeah, of just yeah. being trapped and hunted by things that have masks that mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. no purpose. I mean, some of the people in Purge were killing for a purpose, yeah, specific yeah. people, but just people that are like, you know what? You and your family are fucked. You know, and it's like, why? We didn't do anything to you. Yep, but it could happen to you. 
But Funny I'm, Games I, well, was good, I, and then we watched the original Funny Games, and it was like shot for shot, word for word. I was going to say it, it was a remake, and we like, were like, oh, and the, and the same actor, same director. We'll so. just watch the first one again. Yeah, um, or you know, I, one of them. The again. American one was fine. Give us your honorable mentions. I liked movies that kind of push the envelope mm -hmm. of things that you don't normally see, like Hellraiser terrified me as a kid, and I loved Hellraiser 2 even more. Hellraiser 2 is one of my all-time favorite horror films. What is it? What envelope you go is to it hell. pushing? What envelope uh, is it pushing? Th th you go to a location, or you, you, you do violence, or you do something that is so not normal. Like, okay. you don't see in, you know, Friday the 13th, Nightmare yeah. on Elm Street, Halloween. Like, Very the normal different shit. kind of horror. Very different I kind of violence. I like horror that where, like, you can tell the filmmakers had fun doing it. They had fun creating it. They they literally said, we're going to make you sick. And they did it. And they did it. I love that. Okay. Um, I, uh, I love any kind of horror movie that is not in the genre. Okay, like, what do you mean? Where it's like, it's a comedy. And it's so hard to do comedy and horror together because you have to take both aspects very seriously. Very seriously, yeah. Shaun of the Dead is probably one of the oh, best examples yeah, of that yeah. because the comedy is so spot on, but the horror is taken seriously. They do take it seriously. I wouldn't say that it's scary. No, it's, it's but not it's scary. it's taken seriously. But it's taken seriously. It's not goofy. I mean, yeah. there's so many horror comedies out there that don't take the horror seriously and it just falls apart. Yeah. Um, and then but, you're just a comedy with zombies in it. Right. If you are a horror movie and you don't provide an interesting new way to kill somebody... And let alone not even show us the kills. Uh, that's I, a big no-no. You've lost me as a viewer. And I know yeah, that, sounds like, that sounds like a super infantile thing to say, mm -hmm. but no one's watching horror movies to... Yeah, just see another stab in the bit. stomach. I'll just watch see a another stu slice in the throat. See another screwdriver in the temple. I'm not like, going give to me watch a slasher else. with a boring fucking kill and yeah. call it interesting. It's, yeah. it's not fun. So innovative kills are really fun. And does that fall into like your Hellraiser type thing? Oh, absolutely. Oh my God, Hellraiser was What's an was example amazing. of like they innovative kills? They people's skin off with hooks and chains. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's fucking awesome. It makes you look at something you've never looked at as a scary thing. I will and say. And be like, that's scary. My <laughs> biggest fear, and I have dreams about this all the time, is like having a cut on my arm or like a wound someplace. Ooh. And in my dream, I'll peel the skin ah! back. And I can't stop until all the skin is oh, off I, me. Like you're peeling your arm like a banana. Yes. <laughs> and it's like, but I have to like pick out the, the muscle fibers that the skin is stop, attached to. Stop, stop, So like that. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop, stop. Now I can't picture it. Five will goes west. Oh, yeah. More please. <laughs> More please. Um, when I was a kid, I used to, I told my mom before, I had a dream. Like, you know, those big metal scissors that have the black metal handles? yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to have a dream that I'd cut off my fingers with those. My mom was like, I told her one time, only once. Yeah, don't. And because she was like, are you okay? We're going to take you to a special class. And I'm not sure what it was that gave me that dream, but it's the same kind of thing where you yeah. wake up and you're like, I can feel you, it. You can feel I can it. feel it. I can, I can feel, feel the, the scissors again. Yep. Yep. And, and then it yep. almost makes you want to go, what, what, what does, does it feel, feel like, like in real life? Am I imagining it? Like, yep. do I yep. need to... Like, I think I might need yep. to. And then it's like, what am I thinking? Stop. Yeah. Like, get away from that. It's haunting. Yeah. Uh, the other what genre that here? I really appreciate, but it's very hard for me to stomach. When I was into horror, I was into horror. I was into, like, disgusting things, like Anatomy of a Knife, um, uh, The Guinea Pig Experiments, uh, August Underground, those kind of movies that just make you go, why the fuck would you watch this? But I was fascinated how they could do torture and make it look real. Okay. If you could, if you could do gore and make it look real, and then stay in that moment. Yeah. Uh, there's a guinea pig experiment movie called uh, Flowers of Flesh or Flesh Flowers, whatever. Okay. Where it's basically an hour long movie of a guy in a samurai costume uh, mutilating a girl, and it's it's insanely disgusting to watch. And I would never I watch it like again. I like your honorable mentions. Mine are fun. No, what? <laughs> Yours are like peeling skin off but and torturing the women. The reason I like it is for the artistry and how you can keep the viewer not going, bullshit. Like, this is fake. That's More stupid. More suspension of disbelief. You are, you are keeping yeah. me captivated for an hour yeah. watching the same shit. And I'm, I'm going, is this, this how are is you doing really this? good? How did you do this? Wow. Like that captivates me is the creativity behind it. I like my genres it's, better it's not than the your violence. genres. It's, it's, it's the how did you do this? Yeah. That's always 
made me want to be a better artist. I think that's where a lot of your stuff comes from. Yeah. Is because you have this background, you have this knowledge, and you're like, show me something I haven't seen before. Yeah. Either show me something that scares me, show me something that grosses me out, show me something that I don't know how you did this, but you mm -hmm. did it that's without why, actually doing that's it. That's why August Underground confused me so yeah. much because it was done so well and so smart. Yeah. And then part two and three couldn't. They stopped. It, was, it was stupid. They should have stopped. It, it had not nothing to do with the. the Same with those VHS. Oh, God, VHS. Shorts. The anthology movies. The first movies. one was really good. The first good. one was so good. And my favorite part of all of them are the stories in between. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen these movies or not. You but should, But the point of the movies, the, the plot, is to watch different viral, you know, VHS videos, whatever they were called, collector videos, in a specific order, and you were supposed to go insane. But the real thing was the people watching the people putting the VHS in specific order... And that was their hobby, was watching people die from watching videos in a certain order. That's the it's plot of those very films. And that is convoluted and as weird hell. And I love yeah, it. Yeah. But very I want innovative. more of that. Yeah. There was not enough. There wasn't. And then the, it didn't get better after that, though, after the first Oh, my God. The, like, uh, the last one was dumb as shit. Like, yeah. every fucking film in that was yeah. dumb as shit. I was, I was really disappointed with that one. Do you have any more honorable mentions? Viral. I have a ton, but, I mean, we're, this is going so goddamn long as it so is. So what we want to know from you guys is... What from our list do you guys agree with or not agree with? Are there things that we mentioned that maybe you haven't seen um, and you're going to give it a shot? Let us know what you think before you watch it. Um, and we'd love to hear what you thought after you watch yeah. it. Yeah. Whose top five was do better? Do you agree with? And that's, that's the whole point of this series that we're just coming up with right now. I who, like it. Who has the best top five? Print it. Comment down, Jesus <laughs> Christ. We can't wait to see what you guys think. Bye, guys. Thank you. Pacific feeling of Pacific. Feeling of Pacific. Feeling